Yeah, there was some interest in the audio portion of the uh, AutoStar, so I thought I'd give one demo maybe on an object. Let's see, we're just going to punch everything in as, so we can find it. There we go, go to object. And let's see. Go on here and we'll select. Oh, back to object, let me press enter. And uh, now we don't want sources to. We're going to go to uh, Deep Sky. My favorite object named, okay. Drama Galaxy. Let's see. Oh, there's quite a few there. Past it. Great Orion Nebula, that's terrific. After Saturn, no object is as dramatic or more beautiful to observe than the Orion Nebula. It is visible to the naked eye on a moderately dark night, even under city skies. This nebula is 1600 to 1900 light years away and 30 light years in diameter. The brighter central region is about six light years across. Through a small telescope, details within the faint wispy clouds of this nebula can be seen, and part of the nebula resembles a bat wing. Within the nebula, as many as 1,000 new stars or more have been born. Recent observations have revealed that about half of them are surrounded by an accretion disk. This is a disk of material that may someday form into a solar system surrounding the newborn star. How many of these stars will actually form solar systems? No one knows for sure. Embedded within the nebula are four young stars that form the trapezium. These stars were born from the gas and dust within this cloud. Experiment with different eyepieces to explore the vast regions of this nebula. Wide-angle eyepieces are needed to observe the entire nebula, while high-power eyepieces show more detail of specific areas within the nebula. Larger telescopes are able to resolve more details of the cloud structure. It is 66 by 60 arc minutes in size and shines at a magnitude of 